Who would have thunk it? All these prices have fluctuated off and on, but here are the top 10 most expensive retro games in my game collection. So, I dug into my collection and at number 10 is an RE staple that is on the PS1 and that is RE2. This is the movie version where you got a chance to win a role on the movie that was going to happen and never did. This is clean copy, it's CIB, so I looked at price charting and price charting is saying that this is $50 and some change. So if you have the manual and you are looking good, go check your copy. You might have something that's worth a lot of money. Next on the list is a PSP game that many thought should not have been Parasite Eve's franchise, but it did. And that is The Third Birthday. This is the black label copy that is CIB. And price charting is saying it's sitting at $52 and some change. But yeah, I still haven't beat this game. Hopefully one day I do, but yeah, check your copy. You might have a good one. At number eight is an NES classic that many horror buffs have in their collection, just for the reason that it's part of a franchise that is a staple. And that is Nightmare on Elm Street. This has fluctuated off and on. At one point I saw it at about $80 loose. It has dropped in price again, and now is sitting about $55 and some change. You definitely want to pick this up now, but yeah, it's a good game. After that is another RE classic, and that is RE3. I have the Black Label version, so this is going to sit about $55 and some change. I love me some Jill Valentine, so I am never going to sell this one. But yeah, definitely check your uh, labels and see what you got, because price charting is definitely saying that some of these copies are worth some good chunk of money. Now this one fluctuates as well, just like the NES game, and it is all over the place because of Silent Hill getting all the announcements and all the love. But for the OG Xbox, this is the cheaper version than the one that is on PS2, and that is Silent Hill for The Room. This one, this copy, is around $56 based on the condition of the case and the label and the, the manual. So yeah, 56 and some change. Um, definitely pick it up. Uh, I will say this is one of the more frustrating games on the list for Silent Hill. So if you don't want to rage, just let her get hit. <laughs> so you'll figure it out once I, I say that and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I will definitely let her get hit. <laughs> now we are at number five and this is on the PS2 classic that also the game was regarded as why is it in the franchise when it's not very at all related to the other games. You see a pattern here. And it's a rarity, and with price charting saying that it is a rarity, this is a game that's shot up in price and then kind of dipped a little bit, but it's sitting with the CIB, everything all included, at $70 and some change just under the next game that is on the list, but definitely pick it up before it goes up in price when the new game drops. After that is one of the only Game Gear games that I have that is actually pretty pricey. And the reason why is because the game was never released in certain parts of the world. It was only released mostly in Japan and maybe saw a release here and there in Europe. And that is Sailor Moon S. One of the few games that I have CIB and has the box doing okay condition from being moved around a couple times. And this is region free, so if you ever find a Game Gear game from overseas or not in your area, you can play it. So definitely get a Game Gear or a Game Gear for the Retron 5. They have Game Gear players that you can definitely grab and pop in your system. So I recommend this. It's a great game and it's definitely one of the staples that I play all the time. Then after that, this is one of the only games that is on the PS2 that I have that came with an accessory. And it makes it sit at $86 for that accessory, and that is Time Crisis 3. This came with the accessory and the cables to connect to your PS2. So because of the box condition, it's not going to be higher in price. But I don't mind because it's shown that it's been played. And I have had a CRT at one time and played this game, but now that I don't, I just play the game with a controller. So hopefully one day I can get a CRT again and play the game the way it was supposed to be. Now the next game kind of surprised me, and I didn't realize the price had shot up that much for this PS1 game, and that is Tumba. Uh, this is a game that was hard to judge on how much for the price because of the ripped manual I have. A game that is worth about $144 and some change, 
if you have a CIB, which it is technically CIB, but the loose copy is around 80. So I'm saying this is sitting around maybe $90, uh, $95 because of the condition of the game with the manual and everything like that. So yeah, I'm going to say $90, $91 is what this copy is worth. And at number one is one of the very few PSP games that I have kept in my collection and I didn't realize how much it has shot up in price. When I looked at it, I was like, wow, this is one of the most expensive games I have. And I didn't realize that until I started looking at all the games. And that is a PSP game for Shimigami Tensei Persona 2 Innocent Sin. This game, CIB, which is what I have, I have CIB, and the black label, it is sitting at $155 for the condition that my game is at. And I was surprised at that. <laughs> I had some PSP games that were maybe at $80, $90, and then they just shot down in price. But this is one of the few that has stuck to the price that it's been at, and it's stayed. So we'll see what happens later on if I ever do another what's my uh, most expensive games. But yeah, let me know what are your most expensive games on your list. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like before you roll out, showing that you like my content. I'll catch you next time. Now, do you have any expensive games in your collection that you were surprised at when you looked at price charting? And uh, if you're doing this, tag me. It's an open tag for everybody else. I've seen a bunch of people in the community do this, and I wanted to see my game collection and where I was at, but... We'll see if I do a modern one. Kind of difficult to do a modern one because I have a lot of collector's editions. So probably, I'll maybe skip it, but you never know. So let me know. Would you like to see the modern version for a most expensive top 10? If not, it's all good. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Linda the real deal. Gamer gal. Give her the crown right now. She's royale. PC, PlayStation, Xbox, her chest list stream definitely rocks. Nintendo Switch way back to arcades. Jump on the Oregon Trail and join the raid. Dungeons and Dragons reviews and interviews. This game and channel puts you in a good mood. She's making great content like all her funny skits. Homegirl shopping network and the gamer girl kit. Raspberry Pi to OG hardware. Linda's playing games everywhere. Linda the gamer gal. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Cow